I guess if you're looking for a Zoe Kravitz type, you just cast Zoe Kravitz. <laughs> What's happening, film friends? Dave the Film Junkie here. Yes, we have our Catwoman. We have our Selena Kyle. And that is, of course, Zoe Kravitz. <laughs> I mean, ah, pure craziness. Pure craziness. Because, like I said, the rumor was that they were looking for a Zoe Kravitz type, but with her dealings with Fantastic Beasts and everything, with all that franchise, they weren't sure if were, she was going to have the availability, so they wanted a type like that. But I don't even know if that was actually true. Maybe they just heard that Zoe Kravitz got the role. She kind of hinted? But the sources kind of fucked up on relaying their messages? I don't know. I know one person for sure, one scooper, who was like, that gave that short list that I did a video on? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whoops! It's always fun when the, 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 the pooper scoopers... Um, you know, Scoopy Pants, Umberto, and then uh, another person. And they kind of went back and forth, you know. It was just kind of like, uh, let's let's uh, let's pull out our dicks and start measuring. Um, because <laughs> uh, Scoopy Pants, he uh, he totally debunked it. He said, no, that, that list is not true. And then the other guy who uh, scooped it went off on a whole big thing of when Scoopy Pants has been wrong. Which, of course, he's been wrong a lot. But that scooper ended up being wrong, so... Why don't you just both shut the fuck up? The egos, man. The egos. But yes, according to what's been coming out now, the short list was actually not that list at all, even though what's her name was my God. Ana de Armas. I, I, of course I'm saying her name wrong. She, uh, she was on a lot of people's fan cast. She was actually on the short list. Zazzy Beats. She's just in high demand. My God. I mean, I remember hearing, like, maybe, what if they get Zazie B? I was like, no, she's already, you know, she was in Deadpool and in Joker. Let's fucking, you know, let's mix it up here. Ella Belinska, I think this is the chick that's going to be in um, Charlie's Angels. Mm, sucks. And then Isa Gonzalez, which a lot of people were uh, fan casting too. I was like, eh, I didn't really like it too much. I didn't really like, I, I liked uh, Anna. I definitely liked her. She was probably, like, my favorite when it came to fan casts. But, uh, and then I guess, too, was that it? Was that it? Was there other people, too? No, I think that was pretty much it. But, um, yeah, I think, no, no, that was it. I was just making sure, because I remember saw multiple different people. But I think this was mainly it. But, yes, Zoe Kravitz going to do it. And, of course, uh, her stepdad, Mr. Uh, Aquaman himself, Arthur Curry, uh, Jason Momoa, already wishing her, hey, you know, you're going to rock it. You're going to do all that stuff. So that's pretty cool. And, of course, I know, and I get it, guys. There's some people, I mean, I was talking to one gentleman. What do you go to Race Bend? Are they really? Catwoman has been different shades. I know there's, it, it just sucks because there's there's extreme on both sides. There's extreme with the people that hate it. Then there's extreme with the people that just constantly want to complain about people hating it. It just gets on my nerves because I, it, it's like people over here who always want to just complain about the people that are hating it and calling them racist for just because they disagree with the casting. I mean, literally I've been seeing that. I mean, it's just, it just gets on my nerves when I know for a fact that they just don't like the casting. And then, of course, the people over here are like, what do they keep doing? And I'm just going, well, I mean, can we admit that some of these actresses are actually half white? They're just black, 100% black, black, black. I'm like, I got a darker tan than they do because I'm half Mexican and I embrace both sides. Can we do that? I'm looking forward to it. I think uh, Zoe Kravitz is going to add a little spice to it. I mean, I guess she was up for it for uh, Dark Knight Rises, but she was considered too urban. I don't know how true that is. Which, of course, everybody's just saying that Christopher Nolan is a racist. But she got the gig this time, and I think it's going to fit. Because I thought, what's her name? Uh, I'm totally drawing a blank right now. Is Was perfect as Ca Anne Hathaway. Was perfect as Catwoman in that universe. I think with this universe, Zoe Kravitz can add that little flavor, that little rock and roll, a little edge to it. And I think it'll work out just fine. And I'm curious to see what happens with it. I remember the first time I saw Zoe Kravitz, and I kind of like, got a little crush on her. I'm not going to lie. I was in Californication. She was... Had a little guest spot in there, and I was like, oh my god, I didn't realize that that was Lenny Kravitz kid and Lisa Bonet. <laughs> there you have it, guys. Um, that's all I got to say about that. Let me know your thoughts about it down below. What do you think about the uh, casting choice here? Don't worry. If you don't like it, and just because you don't like it, I'm not going to call you a racist, um, <laughs> and nobody should. Uh, hit that like, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel. It's filmjunkie.com. For all the uh, content that I have, follow me on the sock meds over there, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Patreon if you want to help out. And of course, shirts down below. All right, guys?